Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I fit this vehicle black box DVR or dash cam into my car. Had all the wires I had to set up. Car's just a Corsa, nothing special. Got it fixed onto this mirror. Right, let's get on with it then. stuff in the back so there's the mirror we're going to be fitting the dash cam mirror you want these rubbers hooked onto the bike there's one and there's two and then you take these hook that over the mirror that's the first part done. Again, I can't really do it one under. I just move the mirror, but yeah, you put it over there and hook them round. All right, that took what ten seconds, maybe something like that. Really easy. One thing I've noticed though, I know it's a cheap old, but it's not the perfect fit, you see. My mirror will hang this in, and if you look, I don't know if my mirror is big. It doesn't fit great. As you can see, it's not holding on the mirror. It's as though my mirror is too fat. It's only a car, so it's not a special car. And on this side, that's as far as we, I can't even see if I turn the mirror all the way around. I've got the, the mirror as far that way. On my mirrors I can get it until it starts hitting the camera. But it's cheaper what you expect. I'll live with that. Yeah, as you can see it's got the blue tint right, I'll just plug it in see it work off the cigarette lighters alright I've just plugged it in plugged it into the cigarette lighter down there I don't know if you can see it's a bit dark it's just plugged in there I'll just turn the key on see what happens Power straight off cigarette lighter and instantly starts recording. So I'll just set it up so I can see it behind me now. You can set the camera, you can angle the camera if you, if you understand me. You can move the camera at the back to the side, as you can see there. And that is as far as to the right as I can get it, so it's not facing exactly forward, that would be exactly forward. And I can't see out my mirror. So if I can see behind me, my mirror, the camera is actually pointing a little bit to the left. You see those windows in my garage should be straight in front of me. And as you can see on the screen, they're a bit off to the right. So I can't actually angle the camera enough. I don't know if it's made better for left hand drive cars, maybe. So that's a little gripe, but it's not the end of the world, is it? So, what it'll do, you get a little light there, shoots on. So now what I do, I'm up to wire it in. I'm going to wire it across the top there, down there, under the glove box compartment, and to here. I'm going to wire it in better so you can't even see this at a late date. But I'm waiting for a socket at the moment, I can't do that, but I'll just wire it in idle wise. You want to wire it in to the passenger side. It's a better idea, you know, it's very unlikely if the wire was to fall down while you're driving, it's not in front of you then. So I'm going to wire it that way, and at the same time wiring the reverse light as well, which will go 
go across that way and plan is up from there if I can take the panels off and stick it onto the light at the back I'll go under that and then I'll be back okay to pull the car outside so I can open the passenger door it's on a small gauge now I'm just unlocking these in these cheap trimmer movers I got off eBay they're only about a quid, two quid, something like that suck this so I can run the wire down there plan is down there down this side somewhere and underneath ok, that worked out easy enough I had to do Prise the top, pull it away at the top, and lift it upwards. You start hooked out of there at the bottom. You could probably push it behind. It's easy like this. Now I want to try if I can wire it down there now. It's not going to do. Just push the wire up the head lining. Okay, so I've run it under the trim. If we can see this corner, I couldn't quite push it under. I recently had a new windscreen put on this car, and I think the glue is actually on the headliner. I can't push it under, but I'll try and push it under as much as I can. But that's all I can do. So now I'm going to run it down with the factory wires. With the rear camera, which I'll, I'll also run along here, I'm going to run on the headliner this way, but I'm going to run this down this side. Well, I need the door open because it's going to go dark soon. It's just set temporary for now. I'll neaten that wire up later. As you can see, this side, quite easy, just pushes behind this rubber. difficult to do with one hand but I just prise the rubber out, push it behind and then push the rubber back. So I'll do that and I'll run it underneath. Okay I pushed it behind the rubber, it's pretty easy. Just pushed it down that gap there. And if you go underneath, it's just pushed up there. Really easy at the bike. I'm gonna push it under the carpet. Just push it under that bit of carpet. And then, if you can see, under this gap here, and then up towards it. Yeah. At a later date, I'm going to wire it in better, so it's not actually plugged in to the socket. I'm going to put another socket inside here. But my socket I've ordered from here it still haven't come. Bit of a crap cell, it's been two weeks now. But for now, I'll just get it wired. That way I can do it inside, it's about a good dark, so I've got to go with this. Okay, just for the time being, it's pushed behind the carpet there, and then if you can see up this gap here, it's just behind here, and then comes out there, and then plugged in. Again, I'm going to wire it in better, so it's not in the socket here, and then we can still use the socket then. I'll do that later. Put it in this same video. I'll put that trim back on. First, I'm going to feed the wire through for the rear cam. Okay this is the wiring for the cam. What you can actually do is unplug the camera from the wiring so I can do that. It doesn't damage it while I'm doing it. I need to answer that. I can position the camera. It just unplugs. I believe. There we go. Okay, so I've just put the wire there. Temp it's temporary for now. Put a little tie wrap, store it in place. I'll neaten them up later and make them look more like one. This is the camera, I just pushed it behind the headliner again. Same with the camera. I'm not sure if I can see. Let's get my light. Again, because it's really easy, just needs neatening up. 
Again, this corner is glued down. But just managed to get it in. And I pushed my wire behind this now. I pushed it that way. As you can see, I'm just going to push it behind the rubber and into that plastic there, if possible, and all the way to the back. Okay. It's so easy, that just pushes in there. Not really easy with one hand, but with two hands it's an absolute doddle. But that way it just saves dismounting all the trim. You can see you do it with one finger almost. Push that down there. Like so. And then see, you can see you can pull that away. Should be able to just put that in there. We shall see, I need to answer that though. So far it's working really easy. As you can see, I'm just running again difficult one hand, but I'm just running this down there and it's pushing the wire straight behind it. How, how easy is that? Now we're at the boat. That was a lot easier than expected. I really recommend buying some of these plastic trim clips. One pound or two pound caramel, really cheap, really cheap plastic, save you damage in your trim. Absolutely brilliant. One of those cheap little things I'm really glad I bought. I only bought it to do this with. Really pleased. Anyway. Okay, here's my first little issue. Ideally I want to run it through this where the wiring normally goes, inside the boot, and then to the light I'll stick on here, and the other wire. The reverse light, and here I am. I just got to find a way to route to this, maybe. I don't know if you can see, but alright, my plan so far it was looking like a mammoth job. I'm gonna take all the headline off to get to that because it's sort of double skin. So, for the moment, I've run it down this edge, right down the edge, under there. And so far it's coming out here, but I can get through to that out of this hole here. I took the light cluster off, as you can see, and it only makes contact here, you see where it's clean. And I need to get to the light anyway to take the power for the switch from here. So I'm going to run the wire up here underneath, and the only place you'll see it is there, and then I'm going to just if it's possible to push it under there. Can you see? Through the rubber. Back to my original plan to get it is to get it through from there. Yeah, this is a mammoth job. But yeah. Down the boot side. I can't really see since it's getting so dark, but under there and then there's a hole as you can see there and I can push it up there. Well, there's light there anyway, so I'm hoping I can get through there somewhere. Well, so far, feeding this wire for this rear cam is proving to be a bit of a nightmare. But yeah, managed to feed it through there. I wanted to feed it up there and through this, but it's just too tight. There's no way I'm going to be able to put it through there. So I'm going to put the wires behind it, tie wrap it to it and then put it for that one inside the boot and then they'll come out just here which will hide these inside this real light and we'll have it come out and we'll have the connection inside I had to push all these wires through including this one so I've got extra wires here rather than just this one so I'd only have one because it means this connector would actually be inside the boot no way I'd be able to connect it up so that means I've got three wires coming out there. But I'll hide them behind. i just put a little notch, I just don't want to... I mean you can see it's completely clean so it doesn't get wet anyway. So, it's... so I'm not going to start letting water in there. But I'll keep it as sealed as I can. And add the wires behind there. And come out there behind the light cluster. Then I'll have the wires come down there. 
and then just go up. This is sponge under the rear light. I'll show you that later. And have a comb just so if there's any gap, the water will go down and I'm not running into there. And as you can see, this is my rear light cluster. And where it joins there, it's just sponge. So I'll have the wire going up there and into there. Let's turn that over. I don't want to scratch these. Okay.